Hi, my name is Janet Gemmel with Cape Fear Family Law down in Wilmington, North Carolina. I want to talk to you today about the five things the court can do to enforce child support, or in other words, to make him or her pay. As ordered. Number one, the court can order a payment plan. Now that is not just already the child support that's being paid, but it can be a payment plan with purges. Remember that a purge is, if you don't pay by this date, then you go to jail. So the court can order a payment plan and it can have some purges in it. The second thing that the court can do, and this is really interesting, is that they can order somebody who is not paying their child support to participate in work activities. Now, understand this, the court can't go out and find you a job. They can't find anyone a job, really, but they can order you to participate in work activities. And let me tell you what that means. The court can order that you obtain work experience. The court can order that you get on the job training. It can also mean to go to school. The court can even order somebody to participate in GED classes. So if they don't have their high school diploma, the court can say, go get in class and do it now. The court can order somebody to attend secondary school. Now that technically means high school. So if you don't want to go back to high school, you may be going to get your GED, but the court can actually order someone who is not paying their child support to go to secondary school, or in this case, high school. The court can make an order that provisions are made to grant a parent who has custody of a child but also owes for another child, the court can order them to get daycare. So the court can say, hey, DSS, Child Support Enforcement, you are going to help that person with daycare so that they can work and help them find that. That's a really big deal. And my all-time favorite is that the court can order somebody into community service if they're not working. Now this is sort of my, my favorite because they aren't working, they say they're out there looking for a job and the court says, well guess what? You're gonna go and do community service if you can't work. I personally would rather work for money, but the court can actually order them to do that. Question number three. So if somebody is more than two months behind on their child support, you, that person who is receiving the payment, can go down to the magistrate's office and you can ask for a criminal process for child support. And they actually are charging that person with the willful failure to pay child support and it's a crime in North Carolina. If they are more than two months late and it's a first offense, it is a class two misdemeanor. So if somebody's more than two months late consecutively on your child support, you have the right to go to the magistrate and pursue criminal charges. The DA is ordered in the statute to pursue those charges for you. So there are some options. The 4D agency for child support, or what we call child support enforcement, I also call it CSE sometimes, they have a data match database that they're supposed to have under federal statutes. And under that, federal institutions and banking institutions, so things that are FDIC insured, like your bank, savings accounts, checking accounts, those things, they all have to provide information on a quarterly basis to the Child Support Enforcement Agency. And that is the name, address, social security number, and account number for anybody that is not paying child support so the agencies can get this information. And when that's provided, guess what? A lot of people have banking accounts, investment accounts, stock accounts, and they think those are completely safe from child support, but let me tell you, they are not. So here's the deal. If child support enforcement finds out that there is a bank account out there and that someone is behind on their child support, they can freeze that account. They just send notice. It's simple, send notice. Once they send notice to that bank, that bank must freeze it, give notice to the parent, and then send that money within 10 days. And they send that money to the recipient. So you may be asking me, why is this not happening in my case? Maybe you're not pushing forward and asking CSE to do the work for you that they need to be doing. The squeaky wheel tends to get the juice. The last thing that the court can order to help with the enforcement of child support is the suspension or revocation of licenses. Now, you would think maybe that's just a driver's license and that is one option, but they can also do fishing licenses, hunting licenses, and my personal favorite, business and professional licenses. So attorneys, we have a professional license, but so do private investigators, medical professionals, a lot of people, counselors, 
So many people have licenses to do what they do. And if you don't have that license, you can't work. So it is a very important thing. And if the court says, hey, look, I'm going to suspend this if you don't start paying your child support. Let me just tell you, there's some power there. So the last thing that the court can do, which you already knew, which was not included in the top five, is jail. They can put somebody in jail for the non-payment of child support. But that doesn't mean that they're out there working, earning any money. And what you want is them to be working, earning money, and paying their child support. Thanks, and have a great day. Are you guys upset about me going to work? I mean, this is really cute. Oh, there you go. Okay. <laughs> Am I in the camera? Yes. All right. Can you sit? <coughs> oh, how about, what? Oh, no. Oh, no. No, I'm trying to have a conversation. Look, look, I'm the boss. Hey, I'm the boss. You sit. All right. I know that was cheesy, wasn't it? <laughs> um, They're all cheesy. <laughs> in other words, the five thing, I just spit everywhere. <laughs> what? You can sit? Number one. I forgot what I was doing. <laughs> Good girl. Give me that ball. <laughs> it's a cat. She's a cat. She's a kitty cat. Look at that. Get that ball. After a long day at the office and quite a bit of work, I came home to Luna. Oh, oh. <laughs> What a good girl. I'm having a lot of fun over here. <laughs>